Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out on CBS17.com, July 20th, 2018. Big batch of plants that cause third degree burns found in North Carolina neighborhood. And as you can see, somebody with a big old burn right there. And this is in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. North Carolina agriculture agent Chad Taylor has seen several batches of toxic giant hogweed in recent weeks, but nothing like the one found in Blowing Rock on Thursday. This is the biggest I've ever seen, Taylor said. He's been on the lookout for the plant because of the toxic nature. A tip led him to the backyard of a local home. The sap can cause big trouble to humans and pets. It can cause third degree burns, Taylor said. In some cases, it can cause blindness. Agents, state agents are following tips to locate batches and destroy them. The plant is native to Central Asia, and has been around for a while, but lately there has been an increase of sightings. It garnered a lot of attention a few weeks ago after a teenager in Virginia was severely burnt by the sap. You know what I just learned about hogweed, ladies and gentlemen? The seeds can literally sit dormant on the ground for up to 15 years. And 15 years later, it can all sprout up. <clears throat> and I did not know that. I learned that actually um, from a different article from this one. The plant likes shady, moist areas and can grow over six feet tall with a canopy of flowers atop it. Sort of like Queen Anne's lace, said Taylor. Even smaller ones without flowers can be toxic, he says. Yeah, that would make sense. I mean, the whole thing is toxic, the leaves, the stem. So even if it's not flowering, it, yeah, it would still be toxic. All it takes is contact with the sap. People who do get sap on them or on their pets should quickly wash the affected area with warm soapy water. Taylor advises everyone to think they have spotted hogweed to contact their local North Carolina agriculture agent and let them take a look to determine the best course of action. The only problem with the plant is that the seeds fall from flowers and remain on the ground for 10 to 15 years and still sprout. And I think that's what happened over the years. Many of them were just dropping seeds and nobody saw anything coming up. Now those seeds have been on the ground long enough where it's just spreading all over the place. Okay, Taylor says, that means those areas where hogweed has been sprayed and killed must be checked in the future. So there you go. Hmm. So it's exploding around North Carolina. No surprise. And I think with um, in the Northeast, it has been really humid and rainy lately. So I would imagine that plant would thrive in this kind of climate. But please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.